it's always great to see Manuel uh, you know, be aggressive and uh, you know, be kind of the, the heart of the team sometimes, uh, just, just, just bringing the competitive edge, just giving everything he's got, you know, uh, uh, playing like there's no tomorrow kind of thing. So, so it's always, uh, you know, always respected Manu so much uh, through all our battles, uh, NBA and internationally, and, and um, you know, it's been uh, really a privilege to play with them for the this season so far, and, and we'll see where, where uh, the next season continues. Do you, remember, do, you, do you remember the first time you noticed Manu Ginobili, the basketball player, whether it was the NBA or pre-NBA? Or... Yeah, pre-NBA, yeah, uh, when he would play in Bologna. I, uh, I, I watched him play, and uh, he was already playing at a very high level, and I think won. Uh, I mean, it was one or several uh, Euroleagues when Ettore also, I think, was there. Uh, I think, but anyway, he's uh, he already stood out, and uh, you know, I saw him get drafted. I think maybe the same year or a year after I did, um, and went late into the second round, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, he's turned out to be a, a, a magnificent uh, NBA player. And with incredible career and still playing at a high level, you know, scoring 20 plus points in the conference finals at, at, at this age, uh, I think it's pretty remarkable and it speaks highly of what Manu is and has been. Do you think more of him uh, for what he's done in the NBA or do you think of him more for the battles you guys had with the national teams? Um, you no, know, I think his role is, is different when he played for Argentina and then he, when he plays here for the Spurs, uh, um, but um, you, know, you got to appreciate both. You got to appreciate a guy that is able to lead his country and and, and be more of a scorer and carry more load on his national team. And you know, he won an Olympic gold medal in 2004 um, in Athens. I remember well, and and we had again we had a lot of battles. Uh, and you know, and he's been doing a great job here, uh, coming off the bench for a majority of his career. Uh, when, when he's a guy that uh, has been an all-star and uh, and could be a, a starter uh, anywhere and everywhere, uh, so uh, you got to give him props for that as well. You down 3-0 to the Warriors, and you're missing three players in rotation. How would you describe the situation? Oh, uh, a, a, a quite quite challenging one for uh, for our team, I would say. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got to control what you can control and, and bring uh, uh, the competitiveness and, and give yourself a chance and execute your game plan. And uh, well, against a team like the Warriors, you really have to be sharp and minimize your, your mistakes and, and, and be the aggressor all night long and, and kind of make it really take it out of their comfort zones. Because you let those guys get rolling, they're a, they're a handful. And so you really have to execute and have to be sharp mentally, physically, and um, and hope that things go your way too. Uh, I mean, you know, we, it's not that Mano will make his decision. Uh, I think it hasn't really said anything one way or another. Uh, I think it's been pretty neutral as far as uh, his choices for next next year. Um, but again, we try to win uh, tomorrow uh, for, for ourselves and for uh, everyone that, that is in this club and this, in this team and that we worked so hard all season long to be here. And uh, so for many reasons, you know, we go out there and compete and give it, give it our best and knowing that you know, we have a tough opponent and they're in a position that they can close and we, we know how that feels too. So uh, it's going to be a difficult game, but uh, we will we'll give everything we got and, uh, and win for many reasons because you, you just never know, you know, what's going to happen next year, who you're going to play uh, with next year, who's going to be in the team, who's not going to be in the team, you know, who's going to be who's last year or so forth. So uh, you always have to give your best and, and, um, and play every game like it's your last and enjoy that experience and, and go from there. Thanks, guys.